Jake, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. Listen, I've been meaning to see you about the... About the what? About the science meeting. About the science meeting. Before I forget, the science meeting, I need to jump in to do some iPad training or something. Yeah? And um, the watermelon, you've got to go pick up the watermelon from Spa. And don't forget the barbie on a Thursday at 3 o'clock. Sounds like a job for keep, this. Right, I'll just find keep. Atink's given us three things we need to record and we're going to use keep. The first one was, there's a watermelon that needs picking up from Spa. So I'm going to add to my urgent jobs list, pick up watermelon from Spa. He also wants to come to a science meeting. So I'm going to add Atik to talk about iPads to my science meeting list. Finally, I don't want to miss that barbecue on Friday night, so I'm going to set a timed reminder for the barbecue at 5 p.m. and just put barbecue a teak. There we go, all three reminders set. Hey, what are you doing, man? I'm just looking at those notes I made on Google Keep earlier. Oh, wow. Do you mind showing me how to do that? Yeah, let's do one together. So, Atik uh, wants to know how to make three different types of notes. Uh, the first one is this BBQ at Atik, so one with the time. So we go to take note, and we put the title. So maybe this time we're having a BBQ. Uh, let's go back to Atik's. Atik's again. Um, and then we need to use this little button here, which is remind me. And then you can pick uh, the date and time. So maybe this is the weekend after. So we put Friday the 7th in. Then you can change the time, um, and if you wanted to repeat, you can, but we don't, so we'll just press save. Um, that's now saved, and I will get a notification um, letting me know at that time that I should be at a teaks. The other thing that we um, want to make a note for is we want to add a note to our meetings. So I've got two meetings set up, um, science and labs, but let's have a new type of meeting. Maybe it's my check-in with Simon. Um, so we're going to colour it red the same as my other meetings. Um, I like to keep the colours the same. And we're going to add a label, which I, there we go, add a label, meetings. And maybe I really need to tell Simon about the barbecue at Teeks. So I'm gonna add BBQ at Teeks. So next time I have my meeting with Simon, I will remember and tell him. Um, the third type of note we made was, um, I added one to my, my blue notes, which are like my checklist of things I need to do quickly. So here we have the pick up watermelon. Um, if I click the pick up watermelon note, I can press enter and I can just add new jobs to do there. So maybe I also need to pick up some apples. And the great thing is once I've done them, if I just click in this checkbox here, it checks them off and my job is done. Um, the other thing I really like is, if I just want to see my meetings, I click here and I see all my meetings. If I just want to see the jobs I have to do, I click there and I just see my jobs. So you can label the notes and then sort them into different categories. If you want to make a new label quickly, you can use a hashtag. So I seem to be going to a lot of barbecues right now. So if I go hashtag BBQ, that will create a new label, which is barbecues. So I can add it to that one. I've just pinned that note, but um, I can add it to this one, hashtag BBQ. And now they're both in the label barbecue. So if I click BBQ, I will see both my BBQ invitations. And, and maybe uh, I want a team to be able to see everything that's going on at the next meeting. So in that case, I can click here and add a collaborator and I can put his email address in um, and click save. And then he will also be able to see that Keep note. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the uh, Keep tutorial. Add a comment on how you've used Keep.